All right, what to do about North Korea? The president's or made it very, very clear uh, that anything could happen, and uh, you know, an armed conflict is not out of the question. It's an issue I took up with the Homeland uh, Security Secretary uh, John Kelly, who's been noticing the provocations of late out of North Korea, and says we have no choice but to act. He's on the march. Uh, clearly, his intent is to get a, uh, a missile that can reach the United States, and he, it's no secret that he's uh, working hard to weaponize a, a, a nuclear device. And when those two come together, then uh, certainly parts of our country are at grave risk. Is there a timeline on that, a timeline you have, the president has, uh, by which time, you know, the Chinese have to do something? Yeah, um, I think the pre uh, not to put words in his mouth. Well, let me say I think the administration, uh, the Secretary of State, and others are uh, confident that the the uh, Chinese will do the responsible thing. It's not in their interest at all to have a, uh, a nuclear capable uh, North Korea. It certainly isn't in their interest to have uh, hostilities break out. I think probably their greatest fear uh, is that you would have a mass migration out of the out of the peninsula out of North Korea. All right, uh, following up on those remarks, uh, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has been uh, saying that we're looking into further uh, sanctions, much stricter as he speaks in the United Nations. Simi Tara uh, is a, a former CIA analyst specializing in North Korea. The only difference, she says right now, is the fact that uh, it's a different president handling the same provocations. And I think your view, uh, Sumi, is that we are upping the ante here. Is that right? And is that a mistake? Well, it's not a mistake in the sense that we want to put maximum pressure on North Korea and on China. Um, what the Trump administration is trying to do is tell, tell the, you know, raise the cost for China, helping just giving a blank check to the North Korean regime. And that's why I think if China does not really come through in terms of reigning in North Korea, what we are looking at is probably sanctioning secondary sanctions against Chinese entities and banks down the road. Would that work? We have to try, but while I share Secretary Kelly's hope, I, I, I'm not that optimistic because China's priorities are just, they don't want regime collapse or regime instability in North Korea. They want to yeah. keep that buffer. So I, I hope so, but I'm not that confident, honestly. But as a former CIA analyst, you know this region very, very well. The argument has been that they've been this way. That is the North Koreans, yes. <clears throat> you know, with, with Republican presidents, Democratic presidents, they've brokered agreements, or we've been part of large-scale agreements that they violated. Um, so they, they're, they're sort of a very fair and balanced when it comes to offending administrations. Um, so what yes, is the sir. difference that you fear here, that, 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 that the Trump administration could be saber-rattling too much and will be pushed in the corner to act militarily, and that could blow up the whole peninsula? What? Yes, you're right. I mean, this problem goes back to the early 1990s during the Clinton era. So this is not a Democrat right, problem or right. Republican problem. The, pro the issue is, it's also partly the North Koreans are to blame because they are closer than ever before than of, of having a successful ICBM test. ICBM with nukes that could reach New York or Washington. So I can understand the Trump administration's uh, urgency to this issue. Um, well, for the that very with, reason, right? I mean, yes, isn't absolutely. the fear that... that, that one of these days, they're going to mean it, um, and that's and too that's, late. And, and that's why, you know, once we get to that point where North Korea successfully tests an ICBM, I think we, Trump administration will be under an enormous pressure to then even consider a military strike or intercept of, of a missile. What if we were to strike down a missile over the, the Korean peninsula, but in the waters, not over land? Some of the distinguished that that is not an act of war. Uh, it wouldn't be deemed an act of war. It would be provocative, to put it mildly. But, uh, but what do you make of that? Well, I think the Kim Jong-un regime will respond. We're, we don't know for sure how he will respond. And intercept is safer option from the Trump administration's perspective than a, mil military, a missile strike. Um, but that, I, I'm but, sorry, but, uh, but, but knocking down one of those missiles over, over waters is still yes. as bad as knocking over land. It, it, you, you have... You have provoked the North Koreans, even if it, we gave the Chinese a heads up that this is what we're going to do if they dare true, do it again. True, but okay. it's still different from striking something in their country. Understood. And, right. Okay. Sumi Terry, thank you very much. I'd love to have you back. Yes, it's absolutely. Interesting read. All right.